Good day everyone, welcome to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's tutorial video, we will be discussing solving radical equations. So after discussing the four basic operations in radicals, we have now solving radical equations. So we will start examples from e easy going to difficult. So let's start our example number one. If we have a square root of a is equal to 3, how are we going to find the value for a? So we know that if we're going to get the square of our equation, the radical sign will be cancelled out. So the remaining is a is equal to 3 square, that is, 9. Okay. So if we're going to substitute, we have a square root of our a is 9 is equal to 3. So a square root of 9, 3 is equal to 3. Next, letter B. A second example. Cube root of B is equal to 2. So we're going to find the value for b. To get that, we need to cube our equation to cancel our cube root. So cube root will be canceled out. So b is equal to 2 cube. That is 2 times 2 times 2, which is a. So checking if we have cube root of our b is a, so cube root of a, that is 2, which is correct. Letter c, the square root of c plus 5 is equal to 7. So we need to find the value for c. We have the square root, to remove the square root, we need to square our equation. So this will be cancelled out. Now we have c plus 5 is equal to 7 square. That is 49. c is equal to 49. Addition property of equality will become minus 5. Again, if you're going, you're going to move positive 5 to the right, that will become negative 5. So c is equal to 49 minus 5 which is 44. If you want to check, so just substitute, we have square root of 44 plus 5 is equal to 7. 44 plus 5, that is 49. Square root of 49, 7 is equal to 7, which is correct. Now, can you try letter D? So, if you want to try letter D, pause the video. Pause the video. Then, after answering, resume watching to check your answers. To remove the square root, we need to square. So, D over 2 is equal to 8 squared. That is 8 times 8, 64. Now, we have D cross multiply is equal to 2 times 64, 128. That's now the value of our D. If you want to check, so 128 divided by 2, that is 64, square root of 64, which is A. Now let's try um, more exercises with complicated equations. Now let us try the following examples. Negative 7 plus square root of 13x plus 3 is equal to 2. Let us find the value for x and check our answers. So first, we need to move negative 7 on the right side. So copy the square root of 13x plus 3 
is equal to 2 plus 7. Now, to remove this square root, we need to square. So, square root will be cancelled out. The remaining is 13x plus 3 is equal to 2 plus 7, that is 9 square, 9 square is 81. So we have 13x is equal to 81 minus 3. Now we have 13x is equal to 81 minus 3. 78 over 13. So x is equal to, it is divisible, 78 divided by 13. 78 divided by 13, can you check? Seventy eight divided by thirteen is six. So x is equal to six. Now we can check our answer by substituting negative seven plus negative seven plus square root of thirteen times six. So we have thirteen times six, eighteen carry one, seventy eight. 78 plus 3 is equal to 2. Negative 7 plus square root of 78 plus 3, that is 81, is equal to 2. So negative 7 plus square root of 81, 9 is equal to 2. 2 is equal to 2. So 6 is correct. So the solution for this is 6. X is equal to 6. Second, square root of 3x minus 5 is equal to x minus 2. So we need to square. Then cancel the square root. So we have 3x minus 5 is equal to... We have a square of a binomial. Square the first term, that is x squared, multiply the first and the second, times 2, negative 2x. Then square the second term, positive 1. Equate to 0. So 0 is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 3x plus 5. 0 is equal to x squared combine like terms. Negative 2x minus 3x negative 5x. 1 plus 5 that is positive 6. Factor out, so x, factors of positive 6, the sum must be negative 5. So we have negative 2 and negative, negative 2 and negative 3. So x is equal to positive 3 and x is equal to positive 2. Now, if you want to check, just substitute to the given. So we check, we have square root of 3 times 2, 3 times 2, that is 6 minus 5 is equal to 3 minus 1. So again, 2 minus 1. Again, if x is equal to 2, so 3 times 2, we have 6, copy minus 5 is equal to 2 minus 1. Square root of 6 minus 5, that is 1, is equal to 1. 1 is equal to 1. Correct. That means 2 is the solution of this. And if x is 3, 3 times 3, that is 9 minus 5, is equal to 3 minus 2. Uh, 3 minus 1. Square root of 4 is equal to 2. 2 is equal to 3. So... 3 and 2 is the solution of this equation. Now, 
let us try our last example. x minus the square root of 12 minus x. So to remove the square root, we need to square. So we have x squared is equal to, cancel, 12 minus x. Equate to zero, so x squared plus x minus 12 is equal to zero. Now factor out. So we have x. Factors of negative 12, the sum must be 1. So positive 4 and negative 3. Positive 4 times negative 3, negative 12. 4 minus 3, positive 1. Equate to 0, so our x is equal to negative 4 and positive 3. Okay. Now let us substitute. If x is equal to negative 4, negative 4 is equal to the square root of 12 minus x is negative 4. So negative 4 is equal to 12 negative times negative positive 4. Negative 4 is equal to the square root of 16. Negative 4 is not equal to positive 4. So notice that they are not equal. If they are not equal, negative 4 is an extraneous solution of this. Solution. How about 3? So we have 3 is equal to square root of 12 minus 3. So 3 is equal to square root of 12 minus 3. 3 is equal to square root of 9. 3 is equal to 3. So, correct. so the only solution for this equation is 3. Why? Because negative 4 is an extraneous solution of that equation. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. See you in our next lesson.